You might have already heard of Magical Chapas and Proudhorn Cerdix. These are the rarest and most sought after creatures in Palia, which can be pretty challenging to find. Today, I spent the entire day hunting down these bad boys and prepare my ultimate hunting guide for you. My name is 4am and in today's video I'm going to share everything you need to know to prepare for the magical creature hunt, how to dispel their magic and take them down fast and efficiently to unlock rare base decoration, find precious loot and complete high level hunting challenges, so let's get right to it. So first you want to open up your inventory and check out the bottom left of the screen as right here you can see your skill level of hunting. I recommend you to get a skill level of 8 or higher as then you will unlock the blueprints for the dispel arrow as well as the hunter's horn. After you've done that, you want to talk to Hussein. He sells you all sorts of recipes for different types of bows as well as projectiles, but I recommend you to focus on the Dispel Arrow exclusively. I still work with the makeshift bow, as upgraded bows will not increase your damage output, only the range, which is not necessary. You should also get your hands on the Hunter's Horn blueprints, so you can track down these rare creatures a lot easier. If you're level 10 or higher and got your hands on quite some of this challenge currency, you can even purchase the two items right here, which I don't recommend as they are pretty expensive. Save it up for the pretty cool stuff which we can find right here. All right, so after purchasing the blueprints, you want to visit your work table as right here in the tools tab, you will find the dispel arrow exactly right here. These cost one flow if used wood, one iron bar and also one bright shroom. Flow infused woods are the purple trees which you can chop down with multiple people. I definitely recommend you to just search a party for a couple minutes. We were with a group of four, so it was super fast and efficient. Got our hands on over 50 of these flow infused locks in no time. Iron ore can be found all over Bahari. It's not rare at all. So you've probably already gotten your hands on it, while bright shrooms can also be pretty tricky to find, while we already have an interactive map for Palia, which can make these farms so much easier. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, but basically what you wanna do after clicking that one is enable the foraging tab and click on bright shroom. I found a pretty efficient farming route, which starts at the Beachcomber Cove. You wanna use this quick travel, then go to the Windy Runes to pick up these nodes right here, then go to the flooded forest. After that, you want to take the quick travel and get to the north, to the fast travel of the coral shores, go to the statue garden, pick up these shrooms, and then you can get back to your base. To craft all the dispel arrows, you're going to need for the hunt. If you have a decent aim, you can take down at least four rare creatures with one stack of dispel arrows. So I would say a pretty affordable craft, definitely more interesting to quickly farm for the resources over purchasing them from a sane. The next resource you're going to need are the Elder Cernuk Antlers. And these can be pretty difficult to find, but if you target farm Cernuks, you'll be able to get your hands on those fairly quickly. I have a very efficient farm, which you can find in the top right of the screen, which can easily make you over 15,000 gold per hour and the good thing is you can find plenty of Elder Cernic Antlers while you're at it. So it's definitely worth checking out. Anyways, you're also going to need three Chapa Fur, which you can get from the cats we hunted earlier, and also five Leather. Leather can be processed if you use the Fabric Maker. All right, so let's craft one more horn. Right now we have two and start the hunt. Lol, this guy is working on my farm, watering my plants, and I'm even getting the resources for it. So, first off, we want to find the location of these rare creatures. For that, you want to go to Kalima Village or any other place where you can basically find a quick travel board. So, we're going to use this map to quick travel to the Bahari Central Stables. Anyways, for magical creature hunting, I once again recommend you to use the interactive map as right here you can find the best hunting spots for both creatures. If you want to find magical chapa, you basically want to move to the southern part, while if you want to search for Cernux, you want to go to the north. Alright, so here we are. What we're going to do right now is place a pin with our middle mouse button get to this little rock right up front of us. And since we just crafted our magical arrows or dispel arrows, we can start using those to take down these creatures. And wow, we actually just found magical Chapa, which um, instantly, of course, teleported away because we didn't dispel him. But yeah, now we have our hunter's horn, so we can track him down with ease. So if we use this one with the right mouse button, you can see that in the top left of the screen, we have a little buff icon, which means that we can start tracking down these creatures. 
Be sure to also equip your bow and press right mouse button that you can select your arrows. In this case, I only have the dispel arrows, so we're gonna click that. And now we are ready to start the hunt. I'm just gonna stand right here on the central part of this area as Around us, we can find the chapas. And look at that. On the map, we already have this bow icon, which means that we just tracked down a rare chapa. If we turn around with our camera, you can see that it's 120 meters away. So we're going to just fly towards it. And hopefully no other player is going to tag it. Oh, I think it happens. So um, that means they are probably going to run away. Unfortunately, these players messed up. They didn't have this spell or magical arrows, so um, we weren't able to take it down. I recommend you to always get back to this rock right here, right in between the hideaway bluffs and the Pulse Water Plains. Because this one is in the exact center of all the possible spawn areas for the Chapas. You can even hunt other Chapas while you're waiting for the respawn. It usually takes only like one minute. Look at that. We already have one popping up right there. So let's not waste any time and quickly get to it. These little fellas also have less HP than the Cernix. And there we go. Voila, we just took down a Chapa. So we just completed the Chapa challenge. It also gives us some curacy, which I really like about um, the hunting. You can uh, complete some weekly rewards to get even more of that. It's uh, pretty satisfying. While, of course, they also give you some rare loot. The first time when you take down one of these creatures, they will even give you a head mount trophy to decorate your base with. This is probably the best spot to camp these bad boys as they will constantly pop up only seconds after killing the first spawn, let's say. But um, as you can see, we're currently 20 meters away. You just want to take your time to take aim, focus on the one on which you can see some stars as that's the main target. It will also be stunned if you use the magic arrows and then just spam until it dies. Only like three or four shots maximum that will do the job. Anyways, if it takes more than a couple minutes for them to pop up, there is an alternative spot you want to check out, as this can be the other place where it spawns. So right now we are basically at the Windy Ruins and it is standing right in front of me. Again, get close to them, 20 to 30 meters, then take aim, land a shot and focus on the highlighted Chapa. If you hit it again with a dispel shot, it will be stunned and you can take it down with ease. But yeah, now that we've taken down a couple Chapas, I think you already know how it works. So let's move on to the Cernux, which are a little bit more difficult to take down. For which I recommend you to use the Bahari Outskirts Quick Travel. There are plenty of tier 2 Cernux, let's say, which have a slightly different color. But um, I even heard someone using a Hunter's Horn right here. So that means I'm not the only person in the area hunting for rares. I recommend you to go to this specific rock right in between the Thorny Thicket and the Proudhorn Pass, as this once again is an amazing spot to camp the Proudhorn Cernix. This is a spot on the interactive map. So if we enable the Cernic layer, you can see that they spawn around this very location. And look at that, we have our first Cernuck popping up. So this one is 70 meters away. Just like with the Chapas, what you want to do is take your time, walk towards them. I think 20 to 25 meters is going to be just fine to take the shot and then fire your dispel arrows two or three times. With some well-timed shots and a little bit of aim practice, it's going to take about five arrows to take him down. But wow, look at that. We've got a secondary Cernok popping up only shortly after taking down the first one. They usually travel pretty fast, then you will see them gain a lot of distance. While well, right now, you can see that um, the meter doesn't change. So that means you can just take your time. And yeah, if your tracking buff fades, it's going to be much more difficult to find the Cernux. While I always recommend you to just keep walking towards the direction where you last saw them teleporting. You might have already seen the buggy pathing of different creatures. Well, even the Proudhorn Cernux or Chapas can sometimes get stuck in. So in that case, I recommend you to just close the game and restart it as then you will be placed in another instance or phase. It's possible that you can only find one creature per instance. So in that case, you don't want to waste your time waiting for it to disappear. While it takes less than 30 seconds to restart the game and then you can continue the hunt as your buff doesn't go away after reload. 
Only seconds after doing this, I spotted a new one. So it's always worth leaving behind the one which you cannot get your hands on. And yeah, as long as you've hit it at least once, you don't have to worry about losing your loot if somebody else takes the kill. Even if you only attempted to hit it without actually doing so, will mark the kill for you. Sometimes moving a little bit towards the southwest can definitely help you to track down the Cernux a little bit easier as it seems like the tracking range is about 200 meters. Sometimes they just spawn a little bit outside of this area. Even better, if you're covering ground with some party members, this farm is going to probably become even more efficient. If we open up the map, you can probably just have one person roaming around in the eastern part of the map, while somebody can also be at the west side. So then you can track down the Cernux so much faster and just call whenever you find one. The magical Cernux can also drop Proudhorn Cernux antlers, for which I haven't found a use case yet. You cannot decorate your base with it while they do sell for a nice amount of gold. I still recommend you to keep them in your storage as who knows in the future they might become extremely valuable. So I would say save them for later. All right, so there you have it. Everything you need to know to start hunting Magic Chapa in Proudhorn Cernic. A big thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful. And of course, subscribe if you want to stay in the loop with future videos as a lot more useful guides are coming your way. If you have any questions about the game, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. You're always welcome to join the Discord community for which you can find a link in the description. Right now though, it's 4 out. I want to wish you an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.